Hi and welcome to another 5 minutes tutorial and this time about the new shader that arrived in Blender 4.2 called Ray Portal BSDF and you will find it by pressing shift A, go to shader and here you have the Ray Portal BSDF. So that is what I've done here. I have added this material on this simple plane here and right now it's like a transparent so we can see a monkey over there through the plane here but what it really is is like a window to the scene in real time uh, so as i said right now it's a transparent we can't see any changes it's just going through everything but if i change the position here then i can move this monkey a bit inside this window and get like a something called parallax occlusion so i get some fake information in this plane that then feels like it's 3d and i will show you how that works so i press shift a put in an input of a gem tree and here we use the position that is exactly the same we are looking at right now but i will add an add here so shift a converter vector man add and if I now change, let's say, the X direction a bit, you can see suddenly the monkey starts to move out from the window. So we don't have it in the window, but if I move this just a bit, then you can find the monkey here, inside. Because now I take the information from here and move it five units about to the X direction, and then it's here. And then I can move this plane and it will be like a window so if i go here i can look from this direction i can also rotate it a bit if i want to and look it more in that this direction and so on so it's not a flexible thing that they have added in blender 4.2 the magic behind this that you can do this that is not new in blender because the magic is in the direction here so what the direction is is the incoming from the gem tree but what they have done is they have reversed it so it's like scale negative one so if i put this into the direction it's no difference here and if i now take a texture if i put that here you will see how the incoming works so shift a texture and let's say we take the magic texture since i was talking about magic and put that to the surface output you can see now when I move, you get the same effect on the texture. So this is not new uh, in Blender 4.2 that we can do this. The new thing is that we have combined a starting position and then we can take like a photo or uh, get the recording or that from that position and then put that into the plane. So we get this, this parallax occlusion effect and that is a new thing. You know? And really simple to use in this you can build it uh, earlier but this is new so combination of the direction and the position that is what gives us this amazing thing here however since this is the magic the scale here and the incoming that means that we also could like take a, a fixed image so let's say that you will make a surveillance camera or something like that you can do it as, as well so it doesn't move like this but to have it more like a static image so to do that we can say that we just put in an add we take away the position make everything static and we take this to zero and we use the z here for instance instead so now i should look at that from uh, above so to say but to be able to make something of out of this i should also put in something in that direction and we can then use the uv instead of the geometry so shift a input texture coordinate a uv and if you've seen my courses you know that to get it to the center you need to subtract it with 0 0.5 so i do that as well so i go to converter uh, vector math and change this to subtract and put it to 0 0.5 0 0.5 or I do that in the bottom 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 like this and put that to my direction 
Uh, we can't still see anything and that is because this is a direction so we also need to use the Z here. But as soon as I use that you get the top view from this monkey. And that, even if I now move it you don't get this 3D effect. It's more like a static image. So you can use this so like a surveillance camera. So if I change the monkey right now you can see it changes in my view here. So there is two ways to, to use this, but you can use it as portals, you can use it as a surveillance camera, you can use this as a fake window in an apartment where we have a lot of small rooms and so on. So it's really useful and uh, it's more about how you connect the starting position and the direction to get exactly what you want out here. But hopefully I uh, use these five minutes in a way so you learn something about this ray portal and then you can experiment a little bit more with it and learn exactly how it works. So I say bye for now and see you later.